What? Award winning oh. buns. Oh. 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 oh! Don't you recognize it? Oh, she's scared. You're she's scared. She's scared. Abernathy she's scary! Hey! Hey! Ah! Ah! Uh, yeah, we back in this game. You know that we about to play the same. Yeah, we finna win. You know that I'm about to go off. I'm about to go in. Uh, I'm in this. Yeah, yeah. That was really weak, but you know what? It's okay. We are back in Little Guardsman. And I had so much fun the last um part. I had so much fun playing it. And I really wanted to continue to see what the story was. I want to try to do like three levels three or four levels in this playthrough so this is gonna be a longer video but yeah let's get back into it if you didn't watch part one you should definitely go and watch part one but basically this is just a game about letting the right people into your kingdom or you know keeping out the wrong people level three or day three it's news in the morning with me your news anchor manuel mentiroso breaking manuel 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 okay suitors for our beloved and newly available princess desdemona will okay. be arriving today in the sprawl oh be on the lookout for royal carriages entourages and attitudes okay breaking oh news. attitudes okay the duchess of scarborough's prized pet cat sprinkles has uh, passed oh away no at the age of 43 wow that's an old a cat representative from the small rodent and budget coalition shared their condolences oh wow and immediately scampered around without reserve dang that's that breaking is tough news. The sprawl will be host to a goblin ball match today between oh. our sprawl brawlers. Yep, our dad's gonna be busy. That's for sure. At the goblin ball arena. Okay. Breaking news. There's so many breaking news. Last piece of breaking oh, okay. News. Cool. Keep in for all your sprawl news updates. We now return to our regularly scheduled. Are we gonna sites. hear someone in the in the and the oh what was his name again? And the the ham something in the ham. I forgot his name. That was our other radio person. So where are we going now? Is there another note here? Oh, look, another note. Another note. Lil, I'm off running an errand for Lieutenant Stryker today. Apparently, she needs me to time how long it takes to run around the entire circumference of the sprawl. Okay, they are just making up things for him to do just so I can work for him. Really shouldn't have competed in that hot dog eating contest last night. Do me a favor and go down to the gob Goblin Ball Arena and place a bet of 30 gold for me after work. What? There's an extra fiver just for you. You didn't tell me which team to bet on, but my oh. chances can't be any worse than his usually are. Wow, so now he has us gambling for him? Our dad has us gambling for him? That's crazy. We're 12. We're 12. Expect the arrival of Crown Prince Phineas of Petrad and Prater Krag Cardigan of Marvel Empire. Don't let your guard down, but do not delay them unnecessarily. Ash, today is the Goblin Ball, Goblin Ball Tribe Goblins Cup semifinal between our beloved Sprawl Brawlers and the Collider Lightnings. There has been a, a BS report, Bank of the Sprawl, regarding a number of unusual transactions involving sports betting. A reminder to the Guard Force, city officials are forbidden to participate in gray market sports betting. Technically, isn't that me? Like, our dad is literally... Like, our dad is literally a guardsman and he's betting. He, is he not allowed to do that? The guards are hearing talk of increased smuggling. Be vigilant. Watch out for anything that could have a secret compartment. Trust no one. Deploy the truth spray if necessary. Ooh, smuggling. Okay. Okay. We're in this. We're going to do great. We're going to get th four stars. Hopefully. We, need, we definitely need the truth spray to work. For sure. Um, smuggling, x-ray, we want that to work, and we want this to work. Now, everything else, we can use this. Oh, we only have one fake thing. Should we have the whip or the decoder? Let's do the decoder. I don't think we'll need the whip. Okay. Yes, it is I, little one. Oh, this Hello is the guy. The okay, cool. Petrad, here before you in the flesh. It's the it's clown guy. Please, no need to bow or genuflect. No genuflect? need to let your eyes know. But I don't even know what genuflect means. For though I am a crowned prince of the realm, I am a humble man. One of the uh -huh. people. No oh, one of the people. You, tiny gatekeeper. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, well, that's comforting. Thank you. I, Man, I appreciate you. 
for making me feel so comfortable with you. Well, you got. I gotta ask You'll you some questions. You'll be glad to know that the opening ceremonies of our newest royal sulfur mine okay. were a complete success. Oh, nice, nice. Only I love deaths. hearing about this. Oh, far what? fewer than the last. Oh. That's no not matter, good. We look forward. That's not good. Patrard. No sense crying over spilt um, blood. Well, there, there it is. Tease. No, indeed. Why those pathetic working class miners? Wow. Best thing they could do is die anyway. Stop taking all that oxygen. Oh, well, let's see what he says. Oh, my thoughts exactly. What? <laughs> God, barf. There's no way. This guy does not care about the people. This guy does not care about the people. Is there anything else I should do for him? I feel like he's fine. I don't think I have to delay. They said don't delay them unnecessarily. Let me just talk to him one more time. Mm, I've heard tell that the barbaric warmonger Praetor Kargan is my chief rival for the hand of your fair princess. Yeah. <sighs> Can't even find decent competition these days. The Marvog are tough. a loathsome bunch of butchers killing each other over the tiniest infractions. Oh, that's crazy, bro. Bump into someone in the checkout line. Trial by combat. Uh, Accidentally sneeze on a sacred heirloom. Trial by combat. No way. <laughs> that's crazy. Worst vacation of my life. That's actually kind of crazy. That's scary, actually. I, I've I trust never that. been anywhere in the Marvog Empire, <laughs> but it does sound pretty brutal from what I've heard. Oh, my goodness. Never go, my dear. Nothing in Marvog you can't find bigger, better, and shinier in Petrarch. Mm, okay. Mm. I guess, I mean, I don't really see anything that I need to do for him. I'm gonna just let him in, because I don't really... I don't really know, like... I don't think I need to use the truth serum on him. I doubt he's smuggling anything in. Maybe flowers or some. And with that, okay. it is off to face the princess and destiny. Huh? Before I go, can you spot me a fiver? I'm afraid what? I have in my other pants. Wait, 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 wait. You're asking me for money? The guardsman? Why do you even need money? Aren't you like the, the heir to the throne? Why do you, where's your entourage? You can get some money from your, 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 your mate, your mate that's here. I'm gonna say no. Hmm. Is it that you don't have the money or that you don't want to lend it to me? I don't have it. I don't hmm. have it. Not terribly surprising, lower class working. Yeah, player. I don't have it, bro. Like, Look at this dump. I'm amazed you even have enough power to keep the lights on. My, dang. Never mind. I'll find someone a bit more well healed to help me. Man, maybe I should have helped him. I don't know. I just feel like he just looks down on us anyways. I don't really care. You admitted. Oh, wait, maybe I could have. Would that have given me like four stars? I don't know. Maybe that could have given me four stars, but I just don't. I don't know. I just don't really like like him that much to give him anything. Good day. I traveled up here with the convoy. What was bringing Prince Phineas to the sprawl? Okay. I'm um, not staying long. Just need a place for tonight before I head back to Petrard. Somehow I doubt it. You don't look like the type to go and travel with him. What's in there? I was hired to come along with the convoy in case anything broke down on the way. In case repairs were needed on any of the equipment or transport. Mm. The prince really? doesn't exactly travel light. Three carriages okay. of wardrobe changes alone. So why did he need five? To be honest, I don't get to the sprawl often. Too many mages around these parts for my liking. Okay. I guess I'm I can trust sure that. I'm sure they were glad to have you as a personal insurance policy. Okay. I don't know if I'd go that far. If they didn't absolutely need to hire someone to make sure the prince was here bright and early, they surely would not have. Okay, he sounds Wouldn't trustworthy. Spend a penny on their dying aunt, the Pomp family. I feel like that he seems very trustworthy, but let me just, okay. Hmm, can I use it on that? I mean, obviously that's made of metal. That toolkit was handed down to me by my great uh, aunt Gilbert, Maybe I shouldn't have used one it. One of the finest I don't know. of beauty this world has ever known. A kit like this in the right hands, Okay. there's nothing you can't do. What's inside? Oh no, he said it was handed down to him. I think you'd know what to do with these better than I would. Okay, wait, maybe I shouldn't have used it. I appreciate it, especially coming from a fellow tool enthusiast. Tool okay. Tool enthusiast? Okay. You got your own awesome toolkit there, and I bet you love you know using it as I much as I do I think he's trustworthy. He sounds... Tell you what, if there's anything you need fixing, I'd be happy to take a look for you. Oh. As a matter of fact, the jukebox at the Twisted Sisters oh. Tavern has been on the fritz for ages now. Okay. Oddly enough, fixing fritzy jukeboxes okay. is my specialty. Wait, I think I should have done that. I'll go there straight away and you'll be boogieing before you can sing a chorus of Hey Nani Nani. Okay. 
You know what? That was actually I the good choice. I don't understand what any of that meant, but great. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I think that I think that that was good. That was good. He should fix that. Whatever that is. I thank all right. you for this respite for the evening. Your choice will I'm have an effect on the I'm certainly glad I don't have to head the all the way back to Petrard tonight. Uh oh. By the way, do you know of a good inn nearby? Was that a bad choice? No better place than the Twisted Sisters Tavern. Um, I'm Not scared. Not a classic beauty, but she'll get you where you need to go. I'm a little scared. My kind of establishment. I'll see you there. Oh, please tell me that that wasn't a bad choice. Maybe that was a good choice. Oh no, that was good. That was good. We did that. We did that. I love, I love succeeding. Frankles. <laughs> Um, wait, are these the people mourning? Mourning the cat? Oh, they're mourning the cat. Oh, boo hoo hoo. Oh, uh, <laughs> cries. Oh, sprinkles. Oh, sprinkles. Oh, no. Weep, weep, weep. Weep, weep, weep is crazy. What if they're smuggling? What if they're smuggling? What if they're smuggling? We are returning from the funeral services for sprinkles. If you're returning, why are you bringing that back? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't trust this. The service was held in the Duchy of Scarborough, but the um okay are being interred at Saint Euphigenia's Pet Cemetery. I don't trust this. I don't trust this. I don't trust this. Sprinkles loved visiting her friends at Saint Euphigenia's. Euphigenia's. A doubt. Why is Sprinkles? Oh no. What? I don't trust this. You know who. Being laid to rest here. Right. We do not have a pet cemetery suitable for such an entry in the Duchy of Scarborough. I just don't trust this. I just what don't trust exactly this. exactly is a duchy? I just don't it trust this. It is a parcel of land under the purview of a duke or duchess. Scarborough is the duchy controlled by her grace. Okay. The Duchess of Scarborough. Okay. Present. Okay. It is a far nicer duchy than some. For instance, the duchy of Caladar. Bro, uh, you're, you're yapping. You're yapping. What a dump. You're yapping. Okay. I just... I kind of want to use this. I kind of want to use it. What's that? Is that the remains? What's that? What's this then? What's what? That's dust. Okay. Of course it is. There's a corpse in there after all. Okay. What no, is this? It's pixie dust. It's an illegal narcotic ah. used by layabouts ah. and no good nicks. What on earth is it doing inside Sprinkles? Ah. I knew it! I confess. I've been holding this inside for too long. I knew it! That guy was going weep, weep, weep. Like you, bro, you ain't crying? I was approached by a weird guy who tricked me into smuggling illegal pixie dust into the oh. sprawl for him. He was holding the ball with his foot. Wait! Who does that? Wait! This is, what's his name? This is Malcolm! I plead guilty, Your Honor. On the grounds of I did it. Yo, this is crazy. I'm not a judge, you know. Oh. But mm -mm. I'll leave it to the courts to deal with this. The rest of you, uh, pack up your dead cat and be on your way. Mm. Okay, so he's. Oh, I get. To, I just let them in. It just automatically makes me let them in. Okay. All right. Have fun burying your cat. What if I just wanted to reject them? Why they force me to? Why they force me to accept them? You know what I mean? Sprinkles will be so happy at Saint Euphigenia's. I just know it. I don't know why that name you, is so disgusting. Dear. Sprinkles, thanks you. Okay, this oh, voice acting is crazy. Hey. And that's how you x-ray your way to success. Is that that's 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 a good that's a good thing? What? Why is that not four stars? Why is that not four stars? I literally I got I I I, I what what why is that not four stars? Well, how could I have made that four stars? Phew, I made it. Listen, I gotta get in there. The whole team came through a while ago and the game is about to start. Oh we all good? Oh, and what? You are... Who are you? You're in the You're Goblin kidding, Ball? Right? Come on, I'm Serona Goodfoot, the Star Troll Goblin Ball player for the Kaladar Lightning. Oh, really? I don't have time for games right now. I gotta get to the stadium and win Why a game. Why are you late then? Why are you late? 
Wait, what'd they say about them? Uh, can I question you a little bit? Come on, the big goblin ball game starts in 30 minutes. My stupid personal driver had to take okay. a detour to get here. What more do you want me to say? I don't know. Doubt? Is it really your personal driver's fault? Or is it that you have a hard time dealing with pressure? Dang. You sound just like my psychiatrist. What? Personal driver? Psychiatrist? Huh. Is there anything you don't have? Um, I don't have time to talk to you all day. Okay, tough. Tough. Okay. I mean, honestly, I don't think that there's... I don't really think... Um, I don't really think there's anything wrong with her. To be honest, I don't really think there's anything wrong. I, I trust her. Thanks. Now oh. to wipe the floor with those lousy... Hopefully that's a good... Brawlers. Hopefully that's a when good thing. When you hear the crowd cheer on my name, you'll know it's for me. What was your name again? Well, duh. Well, I, I forgot her name. I guess, uh, I guess that only gets three stars. I, okay. Who is this? Greetings. I am Praetor Kargan of the Marvog Empire. Okay. I believe you met my envoy, oh, okay. the angry warrior with the head in the bag. Wait. That doesn't look like her. She would have come by this gate to announce my arrival. I demand you let me pass immediately. Is that a mop on her head? Wait. That did not look like her. Guys, we had a picture of her. This does not look like her at all. She has a clock as a belt, a radio on her side, and a mop or a, a feathered thing on her head. She's definitely no. You're um you're done. But let me let me. But I actually kind of want the truth out of her. Actually, let me question her. Why do you pester me with questions? I am a very important royal figure, and I must enter your city to meet your princess and marry her. Uh -uh. Now let me be gone, child. Quack black. Quack black. What does that even mean? Doubt. Just a few more routine procedures. You understand. I don't trust Please you. Please hurry. I do not like to be kept waiting. Yeah, definitely. No, I know. I. We need to use the truth serum on her because she is lying through her teeth. I must resist the urge to need to focus. I am what? Praetor Kargan of the Marvog Empire. <clears throat> uh, nah, nah, nah. I'm not some copycat looking to get into the city and use Praetor's likeness to score uh -huh. free hotel rooms. Uh-huh. Phew. Uh-huh. did it. Now let me through, child. Call a block. Yep, yep. I knew it. You're done. You're done. You're done. But I am the Prattler. No, you're not. What? Why is it why is it ringing? What on earth are you doing? Since when are you exercising independent thought? I don't what? care what your opinion of them is. If they're the real Praetor Kargan, then let them through at once. Is that clear? That's not the real one. That's not the real one. That is not Okay. Oh, we had to do we had to exercise independent thought with that one for sure. Because you made a powerful I enemy almost question little girl. I almost You'll questioned soon myself. Feel the wrath of an entire empire. Quaplort and goodbye. Yeah, I literally I almost questioned myself. You saw through the old fake Praetor routine from a mile away. Who does she think you are? Someone who can't see through the old fake Praetor routine? Psh, amateur. See, we got, we're rocking this. See, this is the real Little one. Warrior, I, I am knew weary it. after a long journey, and I am not used to Imagine, being to in a lineup. Imagine we let in the other one. I'm Let so glad I remembered the way. picture. I must rest before I meet your princess in order to win her hand and bring honor to my people. Okay, this okay. This seems more legit. This may seem like a strange request, okay. but would you mind saying your famous battle cry for me? What is it? Ka you mean Kapla! Kapla! That's the one. Ah, yeah. See, that sounds more realistic. I would hope that my stunning war cry is sufficient to being granted entry immediately. Period. Period. Yeah, we letting you in. We letting you in. Period. I like her fit. And thus, I truly begin my quest to marry I really Princess like her, like her whole style. and bring a generation of prosperity she got to muscle, the Marvog Empire. Too. You, little warrior, will have a footnote uh -huh. in history for this encounter. For victory. For Marvog. Kapla! Period. After the imposter, it was very clear this visiting dignitary was on the level. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. That was easy. That was some easy stuff. Wow. Still not perfect. 
Still not perfect, but it's okay. Okay, he said I have to place a bet for him. So we have a few things to do. We gotta place a bet for our dad, even though we're 12. Hello. Thank you for coming to my booth today. Thank I'm you for coming to my booth what today. The name for the stadium should be. Oh, a new name. What's wrong with the Goblin Ball Stadium? What is wrong it's with it? It's a little on the nose. The owners oh, okay. want a little more pizzazz in the title. Okay. And you don't get pizzazz without taking Paul's or Paul Zazz, as I call it. Ah, get it, Paul Zazz. Actually, I've really got to be. All right. What's great? What one word would you use to describe Goblin Ball? Okay. I was literally about to say boring. Perfect. And the stadium, you would say it's a... Um... A ditch with chairs. Excellent. And Period. Finally, you come to the stadium mostly for... For... Washrooms. Okay, that is super. Your input will be tallied with yes. the others. Thank you very much for your time today. Imagine they really renamed it. Oh no. Oh no, I'm scared. What if they actually rename it what I said? Can I get some popcorn? Concessions, come and get them. We got it all. T-shirts, hats, food, yeah. drink, illegal gambling, commemorative foam fingers. Oh. You there. What can I get for you today? Oh, I can did actually you just say illegal gambling. Is this where I gamble? I sure did. You interested? I'm 12. No, I thought I was gonna do that hey, here. It's illegal anyways. What's the difference? You wanna bet on who's gonna win the big game? Am I supposed I can't to be any worse at this than my dad? So sure, why not? I'm supposed to do this, right? Here are the teams at play, kiddo. Sprawl Brawlers Which one do you want to hear about? Um, uh, the Col Yeah, I want to hear about the Collador Lightning because, like, they're not the best we, team in the game. We let in, you know, one of them. them. Saruna Goodfoot. Boy, when she gets going, you yeah, can't that's her stop name. her. You sure you want to bet on them? Hmm. Yeah! How much you're Let's looking do it. to gamble? Oh. Our dad gave us 20 to gamble, so let's just do 20. Yeah. All right, kid. Your bet is in. We'll see. Imagine if we're better at gambling than um our dad. Hey, look, it's our guy with the hat. He got a different hat this now. Hat, it is not as fantastic as my previous hat. Man, that's my tough. Journey, it continues. Well, that is tough. After one of the most chaotic okay. third quarters I've ever seen, complete with the red I don't even know what's going on. Goose, this is still anybody's game. What? But look, Kalida, star player Saruna Goodfoot has taken possession of the wagon wheel and she hurls it. Okay. And it's passed through the flaming gates. That's the game, oh. folks. Too bad, Sprawl Brawlers, but that is certainly one for the record books for Saruna Goodfoot oh, and the let's go. We made a good bet. So what, we made 40? Lucky guess, kid. Come back next time for all your illegal gambling needs. Just ask for Fredo. Okay. How much do we make? We have a hundred now. Okay, where should we go? Let's go to Garby's shop. Garby's shop. Where is that? Oh, this is the alley. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I do want to go here. Cause I wanna, I wanna um buy some. Uh, I gotta do some upgrades. I love how there's an well, upgrade if it system. Well, my favorite pint-sized little guardsman, Lil. Uh, you just missed uh, the guards uh, from down at the uh, east gate. Yeah. Uh, what? They almost cleaned me out. Oh no. But I promise I saved a few goodies just in case you happened by. Oh, thank you. Congratulations, Gee, Garby. Thanks. Take a look. All right. Let's see what you got. Let's upgrade our x-ray. We only got 52 left. Let's buy another one of those. Okay, we like have nothing left. Hmm. Hmm. Should I, order, should I buy this too? They only work 35% of the time. What is the point of using them? I feel like that's just a waste of energy. I'd rather save my money. Hey, broski, did you fix Poor it? Thing. I bet you were the life of the party once. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Are you not gonna fix it? Do I have to pay him? If it isn't my little gate guard friend. Hey! Of all the taverns and all the towns and all the world. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello again, Mr. Dwarf. Is that his last name? This jukebox doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah, it's been broken for ages. I told you, bro. Looks like the cables have been chewed right through. Who chewed it? Must the rats? Have been the rats. Oh, yeah. Yuck. Rats? Um, not a classic she beauty. She ain't a classic beauty. That's tough. You can say that again. Are you anyway, not going to fix it? I can fix that for you. I need to pay you? Wonderful. For a price. Ah, uh, how much? Mm. 
15 gold should do it. How much do I have? I think I have enough. All right. I do. Because deal. Deal. what if he leaves the next day? Then we'll never have it fixed. Beauty. See, that's the wonderful thing about knowing how to fix things. Ah! It never goes out of style. Not like those bloody mages. That's tough. How long is this going to take? Listen, um, patience is a virtue. Okay. Oh, I guess it's done. There you go. That should give the old girl a few more years. Nice! Thanks, Mr. Dwarf. Don't mention it. Now, leave me to enjoy my ale. Thank you, bro. I want to listen to it now. Let's now see. that's better. Ooh! Wow, oh, you can play different things like the th Oh, that's so cool! What's Dr. Beast theme? Oh, hey! Listen up, hey. Dr. Beast theme, you know how it be, yeah. Buzzing around, you know we buzzing like a bee, yeah. You know that when I go, I arrive on the scene. Oh, hey, are you okay? I did it. I quit my job <gasps> as lackey to that awful man. And when I mentioned it to someone at the bus stop, they gave me a sock. And I have no idea why. Why? Just That's one weird. sock, not even the pair. What am I supposed to do with one sock? What? Oh, I made a terrible mistake. That's scary. That's weird. At least he's done with that guy. I'm glad he quit. I think I've done everything I need to do. But are you sure you're ready to hit the hay? Yes, I am ready. I am ready. I'm ready. Where's our father? Our father was really out the whole day running laps. Upon entering the sprawl, Prince Phineas presented himself at the court of the princess. But because he didn't lend him a fiver, he was not able to double it in a game of beer pong at a basilisk club, which he could have then tripled participating in the armistice. Okay, so he was using it to bet, to bet, okay. Dwarven Tinkerer. The Dwarven Tinkerer left his interaction with Lil, the guardsman, with a, a spring in his step. The connection he made in a time of increasing intolerance towards non-humes made him think that perhaps rumors of bigotry in the sprawl had been greatly exaggerated. Unfortunately, just before heading up to his to bed, in his room at the inn, he took in the night air and chanced upon a group of young men leaving the social club for the Sons of Nobles clubhouse. They were able to overpower him and stuff him into a garbage can. He was found the next morning without his recently discovered faith in humanity. They stuffed him in a garbage can? No! The Duchess of Scarborough, her valet, and her entourage made it to St. Euphigenia's, Euphigenia, whatever, just in time for the solemn event of Sprankle's funeral. There was not a dry eye in the house, nor a dry... What? When it came to the cats in attendance who commemorated the event by cleaning themselves through the Duchess's moving you... I don't even know what I just read. We're gonna just move on. The smuggler was apprehended and promptly sent to the dungeon. Unfortunately, sometime between midnight and 2 a.m., with the help of his mysterious contact on the outside, whose office happened to be just down the hall from that particular cell. Right? I knew that he was working for Malcolm. Invigorated by their win, thanks to their captain and her lucky second sweat band, the jubilant Kalidor lightning player set fire to a car full of hay. Wow. The fire spread to the neighboring warehouse, which is full of coloring books bound for St. Euphigenia's home for orphans and other unwanted ragamuffins. Aren't team sports just the best? Oh my goodness. Praetor Cargan, the fake Praetor that you very wisely turned away, took their stick to the road and eventually picked up by the Marva authorities for impersonating their beloved Praetor. She was later sentenced to perform in the next ballet, lovingly called the Nutcracker, okay? The rear Praetor Cargan, because she was admitted at the gate without any Hindrance whatsoever, the Praetor had a few extra minutes on her hands before she needed to present herself at the palace. She had the best time. She met a good dog who she patted. She kicked the football around with a couple of only slightly filthy ragamuffins on the West Philly Green. She made an extremely clean cut as she dismembered the left arm of a mugger who attempted to take her coin purse. Oh my goodness. All in all, it was one of the most relaxing afternoons in recent memory for her. And she was refreshed and rejuvenated by the time she made it to the court where she dazzled those in attendance. Wow. Cool. We did that, y'all. Level four. For all your hard hitting high octane There's different sports, radio like people recaps, every single morning. To the number one sports station in the sprawl. Now here's Gavin Bout Goblin Ball with your hosts, Rhonda and Peg. Okay. Oh, Rhonda, what about the outcome of last night's game? The Brawlers and the Lightning. Oh, Peg. Okay. You don't want to get me started on that. Oh, shoot. She's definitely mad. 
first. The big news. They finally decided on the new name oh, no. of the Goblin Ball Stadium. Oh no. After months of in oh, no. and in-creature polling, the most oh, no. popular name as voted by the sprawl oh, no! The boring ditch with chairs. It has washrooms. I like it. I hate it. We're split down the middle. Let us know that what you think tough. by calling the station at 555-21. That is we so tough. This broadcast to bring you an urgent announcement. Oh? It has just been reported that Princess Desdemona, the sole heir of Lady oh? Oswin and sovereign successor to the throne, has been reported missing early oh, this morning. Oh, shoot! In the wake of her mysterious disappearance, the Guard Corps and City Council are scrambling to maintain uh -oh. order uh -oh. over the city. All other That's radio crazy. programs have been cancelled until further notice. I'm Manuel Mentiroso, waiting quietly by the microphone for any new information. Wow. Wow, the prince was who kidnapped her. Oh, no note this time. Okay. Whoa, someone's in a rush. Okay. Where are you headed to, my little rocket? Um. Sorry, sir, can't talk. Gotta go down to the guard shed to work for my... Wait. Wait a minute. Dad? Oh, do I not have to work the shift anymore? Do I not what have to? What are you doing here? I thought you'd be running errands for oh. Stryker or Malcolm or Okay, whoever. we don't have to work today? Do you have the day off? I wish. Since okay. Princess Desdemona went missing, Councilwoman Ash is really cracking the whip. Oh. She's got me pulling double duty, doing her little odd jobs and tasks. She's acting like she runs the place. What if she, she got rid of the princess? Then what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I missed you. I guess I Aww. just wanted to come check in. Aw, that's sweet. Don't worry. Nobody knows that your daughter is covering for you at work. That's so sweet. It's not about that. I mean, that's great and all, but are you holding up Aww, okay? Aw, this is actually so cute! Joke about hair loss. Dang, I'm fine. Really? Are you sure? Because I could... No, ah, that's nah. okay. I think I got it. Yeah, we're good! Even the times when you... Yeah, those parts too. When I what? Oh, okay. You're just saying all this because the princess is missing and you're feeling all sentimental. Oh, that's funny. That's probably all right. It. All right, I'll stop. I'm just happy to see you're here. Aw, this is so Not sweet. Not long. I'm due down at the shed. Got a full-time job at 12. And I'm to take down any goblin-friendly signage and pro-non-human literature across the sprawl. Not sure why, but then again, uh -huh. mine is not to ask. Just to do as I'm told. Oh no, they're really hating on all the goblins and stuff because they said take down any goblin friendly signage and any pro non human literature. We hmm. are so alike in so many ways. Interesting. Do they think that goblins so did it or something? See you at the tavern if I get off in time. See you, Dad. Alrighty. Ah. Ah. Oh, hello. Attention. Hello. What do I need to salute? Oh God, is this it? Did I pull a real Randy and mess up so badly you uh -oh. had to come down here yourself and fire me? Oh, that's tough. Soldier, it's nothing like that. You okay. did not pull a Randy. Oh, Thank okay. God. Okay. I'm here to personally you can't even approve see over the, the thing. upgrade of the Wicked 3000. Oh! With the princess missing and between you and me, the council's increased paranoia, the okay. jail lever has been reinstated. Jail lever. Oh, you so that's what it is. You can get back in your chair now. Okay, so this is this Another is the broken more work for me. Does that mean I get a pay raise? Does it? That's hilarious. Seriously funny stuff. Ha! Uh no, but now instead of determining oh, who no. should enter or be denied from the sprawl, oh, no. you also must correctly identify criminal threats and jail. Oh no! Any I questions? feel like this is more pressure. This is definitely more pressure. How will I figure uh, out who to deny and who to jail? Oh boy. Let's use a real life example. Someone you've seen already. Okay. Oh. This criminal is best known for burning down orphanages full of sleeping what? drinks. What do you do? That's what she did? Good work, soldier. Uh, Just denying her would not protect the surrounding wow. villages. And what's to stop her from going to the next gate and getting lucky with a guard like Randy? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's all I have to say about that. Any further questions? Personal questions? Well, I've got you. Tell me a bit more about yourself. What? Well, I grew up a military brat. Uh, my <laughs> father was a general for the princess's grandfather, King Artemis. It, 
Wait, why am I telling you this? <laughs> you received your briefing, now do your duty. Okay, fine. I just want to chill. I just want to talk a little bit. Okay, fine. Fine. Due to the sudden and unexplained absence of the princess, visitors should be thoroughly vetted and harassed. I mean, questioned. And don't be afraid to use the delicious new jail lever. The city's morale has hit an all-time low today. Anyone from the entertainment sector should be bumped to the front of the line. We are institu instituting a severe cutback of non-human entrance to the sprawl. Secondhand intelligence suggests that Goblin was behind the princess's disappearance. Therefore, we are issuing a blanket no goblins allowed policy this week. In fact, I'll pay, I'll pay 12 gold for every goblin in the I see in the dungeon by the end of your shift. Be on the lookout for would-be heroes and vigil vigilantes wanting to offer their assistance in search and rescue efforts for the princess. Um, the High Council of the Sprawl have their own plan to ensure the prince is safe return. There's so much things to see. This princess thing, people are going nuts. Have you heard about that crazy no goblins allowed policy? Let's dial that back to a more comfortable one goblin allowed. At the very least, it'll bug Councilwoman Ash. Okay, okay. Whoa. There's so much to, to, to think about in this one. Oh my goodness, there's so much to think about. Okay, so definitely the truth spray. Definitely the x-ray. I guess this leaves the bullwhip, maybe. And this is the decoder. Oh my goodness. I don't know, bro. Should I do the metal detector? Dang it. I don't even know. You know, I think the x-ray will be more useful, I think. I hope so. At least we have the rewinder. What? Hello there, my name is Luckface. I am a farmer from Firewall Canyon, a quaint little town just what? on the other side of the sprawl. I am coming into town today to sell produce I have grown. What in the AI? From land that was left to me by my great goblin uncle in his will. What? His dying wish was that I restore the family farm to its former glory. At least, I think that is what it says. He did not have the best handwriting. Bro is talking in Bibu Bops. Sorry. Did you say your name was Budface? Why is his name Budface? Yes. yes, I did. It is certainly not what I would have chosen to fill eight characters. Why is his name Budface? I would like Spencer One or even Quincy Art. But you cannot choose your own name, am I right? <laughs> what in the world? Oh my goodness. Gotta expand and sell my produce in new markets. This is the old so farm has not crazy. Been doing too well as I can't. Would. I am afraid I have put my priorities into other areas like foraging and fishing. Okay. I'm quite horrible at growing vegetables, but oh, I am I don't wanna... if you need someone to gather pine cones. I don't want to put him in the dungeon. Maybe you can honor your great goblin uncle by becoming a really good forager. I uh. hope so, because I am not sure I am cut out for the farming life. Uh oh. Just look at this rice I grew. Uh, I'm gonna confiscate. Please take it. No one would buy it from me anyway. What if it's not really rice? You got a bag of low quality rice? Okay. I just... I don't think there's anything wrong with him, but I don't think I want to put him in jail. Like, I don't really want to put him in jail. I'll feel bad. Okay. He said one goblin allowed. What if I just let one goblin in? And this is the only one I let in. I'll just let this one in. I'll put all the rest in jail. I'll put all the rest. I just, he's so sweet. His name is Buttface. I can't put Buttface in jail. Listen, I'm under strict rules not to let any goblins in today, but I think you're harmless enough. You may pass. Okay, well, okay. thank you kindly. I will be on my way now. Okay. If I happen to stop by this way again, I will be sure to bring you some more crops from my farm. Free of charge. Thank you. Well, no charge of money anyway. It might cost you a day or two. Everyone who eats my produce gets violently ill. Oh, I that feel so bad. Horrible. I feel so bad. It is. So long. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't even know if he's going to thrive in his career. Uh-oh. Um, oh, no. There was a clear no goblin rule and you let this, this bad farmer in, but maybe you were following your heart. Dang it! Maybe I should just rewind. Let me just rewind. Do I still have the rice? I don't have the rice anymore. I'm sorry. I'm putting you in jail. I'm sorry. You're not allowed in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
If this gives me a lower score... Listen, I'm under strict rules not to let goblins in today, so I'm gonna have to throw you in jail. Dang! In the jail on the other side of this gate. Uh. Yes? Uh. Then technically you are letting me inside. No, I'm technically... Oh. Stop poking holes in the logic. Dang it! Are you seriously throwing me in jail? I'm sorry! Hasta la vista, butt face. I'm sorry! You received 12 gold for sending a goblin to prison. I am so sorry. I feel bad. You were pretty callous and heartless sending him to the dungeon. But Councilwoman Ash was quite insistent. So good job. Well, I got three stars. I'm so sorry. You're a bad farmer anyways. <clears throat> Magic lovers of the sprawl. Please put your hands together for the one, the only, the Edward, the great magician. Alakazoo, Alakazee. Excuse me? Oh. And I appear. Thank you. Hey, Thank yo. You. I'm not going to lie. You need to use your magic and put your your ah. eye back on your face. It's falling off, bro. Wait a second. This doesn't look like a little kid's birthday party. Oh, wait. Oh. There's one. Excuse me. Are uh. you Becky Schneiderman? Is this your birthday party? Yeah, you definitely miscalculated. I'm in a hot shed all alone. Which, you know, isn't actually as bad as some of the birthdays I've had. Oh, no, that's sad. Then I'm in the right spot. Huh? I can't believe I found my way here, especially without my glasses. Oh, no. Um, what's, what's, what, what you got stuffed here, my boy? What you got stuffed here? So, Becky the birthday girl, sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed by me, the Edward the Great. No, I just deny Wait, him. But I'm not... Actually, I want to see where this is going. Yeah, because you don't, now, you're not trying to get anywhere. for my first trick, please pick a number between one and seven. Okay. Oh. Nigga, seven. Was the number that you're thinking of the number six? No. Nope. What else do you do? Ha <laughs> ha! That's tough. He did, he did not think of my number at all. Um, I don't have to let him in. He's not trying to come in. This has been great, Eddie, but I gotta come clean. I'm not Becky Schnauzenholder or, or whatever. My name is Lil, and this is a guard shed. Yeah. You haven't even made it into the city yet. Yeah. What? Oh, rats. Come on, the Edward. Get it together. This um, is all because I couldn't see where I was trying to get to. Now I'm going to be super late for this kid's party. I don't know. I feel like I feel like there's nothing wrong with him. I'm gonna doubt him. I don't think Becky would mind if you showed up late. Or not at all. But then right? I won't get my 40 gold and slice of birthday cake. Okay, you know what? I don't think there's anything wrong with him. I feel like he's fine. I I, I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with him. There's I, I hope so. Oh, Ever I hope I didn't make I a bad a choice. Of flowers from my parents' garden shop I hope I sleeve. didn't make a bad choice. I knew I wanted to be a magician. And you're making this dream come true for me. You're welcome. Now, I just need to figure out how to get there without being able to read the street signs. Oh, no. Alakazoo, Alakazee, I'm going to be very late. Yeah. Okay, what was that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Dang it, how could I have done better? Could I even remind? I only have... Ugh, maybe I should just leave it. It can't be that bad. It can't be that bad. Hello. Who is this? Hi. Hello. We would like to enter. I, we? I, I would like we? to enter the sprawl, please. And you are... Magnus the Magnificent, mm. renowned member of the Magies Guild. Surely you have heard of me. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Uh-huh. I knew that x-ray was gonna come in handy. Yeah. Bros in his underwear. You got us. We're goblins through and through. We're meeting up with a couple other gobbos to talk about what's going on in this city for folks like us. Oh, that's tough. What does that mean? Oh, no. The princess goes missing, and all of a sudden there's a no goblin order in the sprawl? Uh, what's the... Maybe a goblin kidnapped the princess? Oh, I feel bad! I'd like to see the proof of that. I feel like the goblins aren't even that bad. I'm sorry. But I want money. I want money. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel bad. 
Sorry, guys. I'm not gonna get punished for letting two rebel goblins in on no goblin day. It's straight to jail for you. Oh, I feel bad. Oh no, please don't do this. We just wanted to see some friends. You're blowing this way out of proportion. I'm sorry. Forget it, Gary. We're just a couple goblins in a human world. I feel so bad. We're sorry, we're sorry. Oh, sh we're boned. I feel so bad. You received 24 gold for sending a pair of goblins to prison. Man. You made this harsh and unpopular decision to tow the company line and throw two would-be rebels in jail. Ash is very proud of you. Man, I feel bad. Who are you? Salutations to you, little sister of this big, beautiful world. <laughs> what? My journeys across this land have brought me here to your doors. Okay. What a sweet fortune have in store for me today? That I do not know. Okay. But it's a hell of a ride, let me tell you. Okay, bro. You know, uh... Clearly, bro is on something. Let me question Where you. Where have you journeyed here from? You really want to know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've been around for a spell. Always on the move. Okay. From the mountains north of Petrad, the great desert in the south of Marvog. Okay. Along the crystal shore. No. I've won. No. Every once in a while. Okay, yeah, no. Tease. Oh, yeah. This tiny little shed is so beautiful. I must remember to take a mental picture so I can conjure okay. it whenever I feel like I'm having too much fun. What does Could he say? Could be a lot worse, little dudette. Not as if someone peed on your rug. Ew. Is that a common expression? What? It is where I come from. Okay, so... Uh, nothing... Okay, nothing really got revealed to, from him. Maybe... Hmm... Dang it. Is he the last one? He is the last one. Let me just see if there's anything he says. That's okay. a particularly potent blend right there. What? Tasty, a little sweet, with just enough bitter finish. Does it not work on him? For more. Are it you going to tell me your deepest, darkest What? It doesn't work on him? Now? Secrets way down the soul, little sister. I have no secrets. My life is an open book. Wow. Well, can you tell me something interesting anyway? I mean, I did spend wow. an action point on the truth spray. Sure thing, kid. Let me tell you some no! history. No! I'm redoing that. Can I? Oh my goodness. It didn't take long for would-be successors to start lining up. Okay. Three in particular. A young, headstrong counselor, a battle-hardened lieutenant in the guard Wait. corps, and the court jester. Although I don't know if anyone Wait, no, that's the ones that are in charge of me. Not. These three have been battling for control Ooh. of the throne for years now. What if they got rid of the princess? Well, what about the princess? She's next in line. Wait, True, wait. But at the time, she was just a kid. Wait. Now she's grown, but I fear that these outside forces wait. are using her as a pawn. Oh, I shouldn't. Oh, my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna let you in, bro. I think you're good. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. So basically, the princess could be being used. I'm a leaf in the wind, little sister. Wow. And you are a gentle breeze guiding me along my way. And then Councilwoman Ash, the the um, the 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 the, the military person and the jester. And there it is. I've reached my limit with you. Right okay. you are. Hasta la vista, baby. Okay. Okay. I don't even know. Three. Okay, he seemed fine with your decision. Okay. I, I mean, I guess we're good. Oh, hey. Lil, you've got to close down the shed for the day and come with me immediately. Oh. oh, wow. What's happening? By now, you've heard that Princess Desdemona has disappeared, right? Yeah. Good. Any other week, the royal advisors might have given her a day okay. or two before sounding the alarm. Okay, but... But with the mucky mucks from Petrard and Marvog in town, we have to get her back before things around here oh. get any worse. Oh, yeah, because they're here to see her. I hope nothing bad happened to her, but what does any of this have to do with me? Yeah, again, I'm a 12-year-old girl. I asked my boss the same thing. In fact, I said, why the hell would they need that piece of... You know, that's not important now. Okay. Do what you have to do to close up shop here, and then you're coming downtown to the city council chambers with me. What? What am I doing? Where am I going? Where are we going? Okay, I mean, that's a decent score. It's decent. I wish it was better. 
I wish it was better, but like, dang. Whoa, where are we? Where? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who did, Hello. Whoa? Is anyone there? Uh, can somebody tell me why I've been summoned? Lilith, guardian what? of the Southern Gate, step forward into the light. Who? What? Can I talk to you? I can't. Um. Why are you what chill? Who are you? Can somebody please tell me what exactly is going on here? What is going on? Well, you have been chosen. As what? To play the hit game that's sweeping the sprawl. That's right, it's time for... So you think you can save a princess! What? <laughs> Oh look, it's the three, it's Councilwoman Ash, it's the it's the military woman and the jester. They're in charge of this. What is going on? Oh, I know what's going on. I know what's going on. They're saying that, oh, my guy, my guy can save the princess and find the princess. And they're each like, oh, my person's gonna save the princess, and I have to choose which one do I think can save uh, the princess. That's right, Lil. Today you're getting the chance to send one of these lucky adventurers okay. on the escapade of a lifetime to search for and rescue your beloved Princess Desdemona. Okay. I didn't ask to do this. All right. And let's find out who those lucky adventurers are. Okay. Adventure number one is a hard-headed, go-getting okay. warrior from the desert plains of the alluring Marvog Empire. Please welcome Neil uh, Warkiller. Neil Warkiller. Cool. <laughs> Woo! Go, Neil! Two is a nomad by nature, okay. mage by profession. Oh, he's a mage. Okay. Rain and getting caught in a pina colada. It's Articulous Flame Hands. Articulous Flame Hands. Okay. Woo! Articulous. And finally, adventurer number three. Okay. You might recognize this thief from their wanted poster. All right. Wanted dead or alive for looking so darn good. Ooh. Let's hear okay. It for Perry Shoutsin. Perry Shoutsin. Woo! Perry. I don't, I still don't fully understand what's happening. Girl, girl, I, I already get it. So you're not and getting no it. And heroic voyager would be complete without a shadowy figure pulling the strings from the dark. Right. So let's welcome our sponsors, Lieutenant Striker, Councilwoman Ash, and Court Jester Malcolm. Okay, I thought they were gonna say I'm secrets. I'm rooting for you. Mike makes right. Okay. Focus and the day will be ours. Information is power. Okay. Aim for the knees and bite, bite, bite. You look like you bite, bro. All right. Now, Lil, you're okay. going to get the chance to ask these adventurers a series of questions to determine their suitability for this quest. Ooh. At the end of the third round, you choose the winner of the grand prize. Okay. Being sent on a perilous mission to save the princess, a few guaranteed Ooh. brushes with death, and... A and... coupon for an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's, home of the soup. Wow! Home of the soup. Ooh! Mm, Dad does love Monty's. Let's do this. Okay. Round one. Oh. All right, Lil, Oh. What would you like to ask our trio of intrepid would-be heroes? What would I like to ask? Um. Origin story. Where do you come from? Okay. And who would you like to ask? Where do you come from? My origins are rather right. humble. My father was a chamberlain in the okay. court of the Dread King Vlad Invictus of Caladar, and my mother owned an exotic pet shop in the Duchy of Scarborough. Uh, okay. They had 50-50 custody, but I was disowned by both as my magical prowess became apparent. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. You can ask another adventurer if you like. Okay. Let me ask you. Born in shadows, deep in the caves below the oh. mining city of Mosh on the outskirts of Patrag. I grew up in darkness. Uh -huh. In fact, the first time I saw daylight was last Thursday. Oh, that's sad. I don't need to tell you what a surprise that was. Who knew colors were so colorful? Oh, that's sad. I feel like he could be a good one. Oh, I could only ask two people. Okay. And your second question is? My second question. Perfect first date, deal with magic users, waylaid by bandits. What is a perfect first date, y'all? Let's say you save the princess and she falls in love with you. Yeah, What's yeah. Your deal first date. Right? And who's that one? Let's 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 ask you. Easy. We engage in feats of strength. 
combat without weaponry, using only our bodies, <laughs> one against the other. And as we <laughs> begin to sweat... Yo! Oh, okay. Yo! I think we're done here. <laughs> Yo! Yo! You can okay. Ask another adventurer if you like. Okay, what would, what would you do? Here we go. We break into the Museum of Modern History here in the Whoa. spring. The security's a joke. Okay. Steal the crown and scepter of King Oswin that's housed there. That's a, that's a date? the profits 50-50, shake hands, and go our separate ways. What a date. That is a boring date. <laughs> that answer unearthed the full extent of your incompetence. I was ready to vow the child with mine. Oh man, I wish I asked you. Stick to the format, folks. There's a rich tradition we're preserving here. Please, wait your turn. I wish we could have asked him. Hmm. A warrior does not wait his or her turn. He or she acts. Whoa, whoa. All right, Neil, calm down now. Okay, Neil. Hmm. Neil! Hmm. You are gaslighting me and the berserker spirits of my ancestors, Hold on! Mike Melroy. <sighs> whoa! Uh -oh. Motel! The warrior has entered the heightened state of berserker mode. Lil, which contestant do you think will be able to get us out of this dilly of a pickle? Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't. I feel like he's just gonna annoy him. Don't look at me. Or you can try, but I'll be out of here. Smoke bomb. What? Blood. Oh. Game over. What? I didn't know there could be a game over. Hmm. You are gaslighting me and the berserkers. I didn't know you uh -oh. could die. Little wick. Oh, clearly him. Okay. Uh, keep it together for just a few more seconds. You, what's your favorite animal? Um, uh, oh no, oh no, uh, a squirrel! Neil, look at this little fella. Uh, uh, I, I, I feel the blood rage calming. I can't murder everyone present in front of something so I didn't small, even know it was possible perfect. to die in this. I am calm. Phew, I'm glad you didn't pick anything larger than a bread box. I'm not licensed for that. Yeah. Due to that unscheduled outburst, we are a little tight for time. Lil, do we squeeze in one more round, or are you feeling ready to choose? Oh my goodness. One more round. I think I got one more round in me. Oh my goodness. There's no way that just happened. <laughs> Lil, what's your ah! final question? Bro exploded! Alright. Plans what after are rescue. Your plans after you rescue the princess. Okay. And you're asking? Um, uh, let's ask you. This rescue will be incredibly high profile. Okay. And I hope to use it as a springboard to a placement on the High Council of the Mages Guild. So people are getting rid of mages these days anyway, though. Mm, the sky's the limits. Well, two four-year terms followed by a lifetime pension is the limit, but still okay. not too shabby. Anybody else I can ask? You can ask another. See, I feel like that you're gonna accidentally kill the princess. But he seems like a little bit of a coward. I'm gonna ask you. For a warrior such as myself, there is no after. We live and die in the moment with no thought of what is to come. Retirement plans are for suckers. Okay. okay. Uh oh, you know what that means. Oh no, I gotta make a choice. I have no idea what that means. This is so stupid. Oh my goodness. You're stupid. Hey. That sound means it's time for hey. the lightning round. Oh, uh-oh. The lightning round. Lil, please choose the adventure that uh -oh. you'd like to see play the lightning round. Okay, right now I'm thinking I'm either sending him or him. I feel like that he would just leave her to die if, if like, he's never been on the surface. So I just, I'm, I'm gonna say him. Play the lightning All round. All right, Neil, are you ready for the lightning round? I hope he doesn't I explode. Am. Please don't explode. Oh, too bad. Looks like that wasn't as enlightening as we'd hoped. <laughs> there is no way that just happened! I was gonna send him! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god, that wasn't real, right?
Uh oh, you know what that sound means. No, I don't. Oh God, not again. My conscience can't take much more of this. There's no way that just happened, y'all. That sound means we are out of time. All right, Lil, now's your moment of truth. Oh. Who do you want to choose to rescue Princess Desdemona? Yo, the warrior's dead. Can I even still choose him? Well, you can't. He's dead. Choose again. My hero would have been the right choice if he wasn't a pile of ash. There will be consequences for this. Harsh consequences. I I can't even rewind. My mage can heal a wound with a word. Okay. Or smash through a rock wall with a wave of his wrist. Don't overthink it, Lil. Make the right choice. Okay, Malcolm, what do you think? The might not be as sexy as a halberd or a fistful okay. of magic missiles, but we have no idea what's befallen the princess. And my guy is your guy. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the mage. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, humans and otherwise, the winner of So You I Think cannot You Can Save believe the Princess. This. I cannot and believe this. the owner of an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's Home of the Soup is... Articulous Flame Hands, the All mage. right, Articulous. You are not my first choice, but you'll have to do. I'm so <laughs> mad, bro. Child. Well chosen. I'm so mad. Today. Please help control the pet population. Have your gargoyle spayed or neutered. So long, everybody. There's no way that just happened. There's no way that just happened. That was so, so nasty. And then I had to choose who the heck was going to rescue Princess Desdemona. It was the craziest thing. What's crazy is that nobody's going to believe you. Don't even get me started on the lightning round. She just saw someone <laughs> die in front of her you eyes. Have the most vivid imagination, Lil. Why doesn't anybody believe me about these things? Right? That's probably why they chose her to work with them. Because nobody's going to believe. Why are you here? How'd you even get in? <sighs> How'd you get in? <sighs> Didn't I deny you? <sighs> is everything okay, Beverly? No, Lil. Oh, you no, must have went to a different gate. Everything is not okay, Beverly. What? My dear true love, oh, Princess Oh, that's why you're dying. Just to recap, this is the dear true love that you've never met, but one time you both happened to be at the Goblin Ball Stadium? Yeah. You phrased that so wow. beautifully. Yes, that same she. Okay. What about her, Bev? When I'd heard she'd vanished, I okay. tried to get on So You Think You Can Save a Princess. Oh. But none of the advisors wanted me as their champion. He could have died if Beverly, he got there. You're a janitor at the Goblin Ball Stadium. Oh, oh, that's Maybe tough. Maybe you're right. Maybe a guy like me can't be the hero in my own life story. Aw. Mom always said I lacked that Aww. main character energy. Tell me what to Aww. do, Will. Should I return to my job or go off to rescue my darling love? You know what? Risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. I say go for it, Beverly. Yeah. Risk it for the biscuit. Go for it. What biscuit? It's a metaphorical biscuit. In this case, the biscuit yeah. is the princess. And you think I should risk what exactly? Your life. Risk your life, Beverly. Go on. Without Princess Desdemona, my life has what no meaning anyway. What if he actually anyway. saves her? What if he actually That's saves her? so, so sad. I indeed. And thus, I will be off to find my, my destiny. Thank you, Lil. For everything. No problem. Don't mention it. Hopefully you stay alive. All right, let's go see if we got to buy anything. Oh, look at them talking. Oh, can you guys move? Thank you. What the... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go outside for a sec. Okay. Let's go over here. Go. Now let's uh, talk to you. You've been at this a while. Hey. You uh, should have enough cash by now to power up your arsenal. Take a look. Okay. Uh, I only have sixty-three. What else can I can I up? Um, I think like the truth one is per. Oh man, what should I get? What should I power more? I feel like, I mean, let me get everything to two, maybe. Yeah. All right, let's go. We don't have that much cash right now, but it's okay. We need to figure out a way to make a little more cash. 
Wait, I have stuff to sell, right? Oh yeah, this costs like nothing. Why do I still have it? I don't even know why I still have it. Oh, talk to them. Let me talk to you. Pathetic, weak coward! You should do the honorable thing and let me kill you. Oh. Oh, you would just love that, wouldn't you? Oh no. Yes, I would. What if they fall in love? It is my understanding that you have selected a self-involved, pretentious mage as your choice of adventurer. Who? Who? Yes, that's right. Oh, me. Oh, the princess is as good as doomed. I, look, I tried to choose the warrior. On behalf warrior. of the Marvog Empire, I must say you have made a terrible choice. I tried. On behalf of the kingdom of Petrard, I couldn't agree more. Oh, no. Mages are untrustworthy. I'm sorry. And pompous. And uh -oh. smug. I'm sorry. And ugly. I'm sorry. Okay. I think we're losing the thread a little bit here. I'm sorry. Let's double down. That smug, pompous mage is the right person yeah! for the job. Totally. My concern is the safe return of Princess Desdemona. Not pleasing you. Okay. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. You know what? I'm actually glad we didn't go with either of their people, their land. Oh. Why, I never. <laughs> I won't forget this. I hope you don't forget what it. What he said. Yeah. I, I, I hope that the mage actually does save save the princess because both of y'all are being ridiculous. Oh, no. I'm sorry, dude. That hat is not it. This that hat, hat is not it. It is not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey, it continues. I hope it does continue because there's no way. I think I've done everything I need to do. But are you sure you- Yeah, I'll uh, listen to hey. Jail was going to be tough for Buttface the Farming Goblin, as many of the prisoners were aware that the putrid produce they've been eating in their rations come from his lousy land. But he wasn't locked in with them. They were locked in with him. If the years of dungeon crawling for Orr had taught Buttface anything, it was this. Find the biggest sword you can and swing it wildly in front of you. He managed to maim and dismember 13 fellow prisoners and two guards until he was finally subdued. What started as a simple misdemeanor charge with a seven day sentence turned into life in solitary with no parole? Buttface now has two words tattooed on his knuckles? Lil Gate? Oh my goodness, he hates us now. The Ever the Great eventually arrived at Becky Schneider's, Schneiderman's birthday celebration. He hit the ground running with his tried and tested routine. He opened with pick a card, moved into is that your handkerchief and ended strong with the classic how many eggs do you have in your pocket trick. Unfortunately, none of these impressed any of the preteen partygoers. After his performance, Edward enjoyed a piece of vanilla cake and awkwardly waited for Mr. Schneiderman to settle with his payment. With a check in his pocket, the Edward went straight to his parents' garden shop to boast of his success. Unfortunately, the Edward's parents didn't consider a check for 37 gold, 40 after deducting the price of a piece of vanilla cake to be much of a success. Gary and Julian were afraid of going to jail with increased hostility towards their kind on the outside walls. On the outside, they only imagined it would be worse inside the dungeon walls. To their surprise, among the, among the other wrongfully convicted and prejudiced, prejud, prejudiced, sadist, present population, they found a captive audience. They told their comrades of the plight of the common goblin injustices they faced in life. Although they missed the Goblin Liberation Army's official secret rally, they made do by holding their own for their fellow inmates. They inspired many, helping spread the good word of rebellion in the sprawl. After 48 hours, the two goblins were released. Life on the outside would never be the same for them again. Having discovered a type of kinship among the incarcerated, Gary and Julian took new stock in the infamous idea that there is no distinctly sprawly in the criminal class except Congress. Oh, wow. Wow. After stopping in at the Twisted Sister for a glass of his tipple of choice, Echo proceeded to head down to Pinheads, the local bowling club in the sprawl where his team was playing for the league for league night. Thanks to the calming... The calming effects of his particularly potent peace bluesim, he was unstoppable and bowling a perfect 300. His team went on to win the league, and a commemorative photo was put up on the wall at Pinheads to celebrate Echo's perfect game. I didn't even know he was a boulder. A bo boulder. A bowler. Huh? No! Neil Warkiller, the hard-headed go-getting warrior turned pile of dust, was swept into a dustbin and then tossed out the window. Articulous Flame Hands. After winning, so you think you can save a princess. Articulous Flame Hands wasted no time getting straight to work. He conjured a small, a small army of moles and other small creatures 
and send them off in every direction to seek out the prince's location. Unfortunately, his my, mighty mini mammal militia was entirely decimated by falcons, eagles, and other large predators. Depressed for the mass rodent deaths he was indirectly responsible for, the disheartened mage returned to his tower. He was out of ideas. He'd give it a day or two, then report that he was unable to locate the lost prince due to entangled cosmic forces blocking his ethereal aura or some other nonsense. Having lost so you think you could save a princess, Perry Shoutson found his way to his favorite tavern in the little ogre quarter. Something tells me that none of these persons, like none of these people would have been able to find her anyways. After one too many delicious margaritas, he got sloppy trying to pickpocket the bartender and was lifted off the ground by the bouncer. Mistaking some bar snacks for one of his patented smoke bombs, then inebriated blah, 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 threw down a handful of mixed nuts, then ran headfirst into a pillar. Everyone in the bar laughed at him. Perry could have died from embarrassment if he hadn't already died from the severe blunt force trauma to the head. He died? He died from running into a pillar? What is going on here? Oh my goodness. Lil, rise and shine. Why are you waking me up, Dad? Dad, you rise, you shine. I'll take five more minutes. Yeah, please. It's time to get up. I want to sleep. Shouldn't you be down at the guard shed? And shouldn't I be heading down to cover for you? Right? Do you want the good news or the bad news? What's the bad news? We have to work the night shift tonight. Oh. I'm going back to bed. Right. No. And you said we You're getting like out of this house and taking some time to yourself today. You're saying we like you're gonna be there like you're you're not gonna be there why do we have to work the night shift you're gonna be with me uh good news or bad news what bad news apparently you didn't pick the right person's champion for the rescue mission whatever that means and they're punishing you for it okay and i won't be able to cover for you because i'm also working the night shift at the east gate Oh, okay. they're punishing both of us. And what's the good news? Right? There isn't any. I guess it was just bad news this time. Okay, bro. Who's punishing you? No one. I work the night shift a couple times a week to help us get by. Aw. Oh, Dad. I didn't know that. Aw. So, I guess you could say the economy is punishing Aww, you. Aw, this dad is that so sweet, actually. If taxes keep going up, I might have to get a third job so we can keep affording things like your little doohickey here. What's What doohickey? Wait, don't touch that! What? Oh, that! <gasps> Whoa! What just happened? Nothing! Don't worry about it, Dad! Do you want the good news or the bad news? Both are. I don't know. Do you feel okay? I feel uh, fine, sweetie. No need to look all blurry about it. Uh, you get out of here and enjoy your day off. But uh, don't enjoy it too much. You have to work all night, remember? Right, okay, right. Okay, I'm going. Just uh, try not to operate any heavy machinery until I Hopefully get Hopefully he doesn't discover our little secrets. I should probably check in with Dr. B and make sure my dad isn't radioactive. Yeah! Let's do that. Can I take that with me? Yeah, let's take that with us. Ooh, cutscene? Why is there random rats? What? Why is there rats? Oh. God, the rat uh, problem is even worse than I thought. Yuck! What should I do? I can't even do anything about it. This is real nasty. All they do is squeak. This is so nasty. You're gonna break this again. Don't break this again. Bro, that's not a good hat. I'm sorry. This hat. That's a disgusting hat. Don't even play with me, bro. Don't even play with me. I know you're not wearing that as a hat. I know you're not. I think I can hear my friends out back. Oh. I want to go play. Oh, you have friends. Cool. You're not just talking to adults. I love that for you. Who's here? I don't see nobody. Oh, I'm walking past him. Oh, these are our friends. Hey, guys. Isla, Simon, Lamont. How's it going, guys? I haven't seen y'all in forever. Hey, if it isn't Little Miss, I haven't been around for a while. Where you been all this time? Bro, I've been, I got a full-time job, bro. Around. I got what every kid fears they'll get one day. Uh-huh. Chicken box? What? No. Worse than that, Simon, I got a job. Right? What are you up to? 
Well, you just missed the rock throwing portion of our morning. What? Sadly, we chucked the last rock in the alley over the fence. Next. What? What? You have a whole well, schedule? You have a schedule for we what you're doing? We were thinking of seeing if we could get our mitts on some of the cool stuff that Garby guys got You're stealing? Over there. Bad idea, don't steal. I have to use a bunch of those for my job. And even though they look like a barrel last, they're serious business. Right? So don't, don't go stealing the stuff I need to Come get. Come on, Lil. For some reason, the world is basically treating you like you're old. Work your magic oh and score some sweet loot. I can buy it. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. But I'll talk to Garbanzo over there and see. I love this music so much. Okay. Yeah, I, we're not going to steal. We're just going to ask him about it. Hey, bro. Can I buy something from you? Hi, Lil. Sorry, I'm not quite ready to open up the shop yet. I can't seem to find my inventory key. What, what do you, you mean? Up so what do you early? mean inventory key? Look, you all your stuff is just laying out. Shopping. I was hoping to do some quick shopping before I have to work the graveyard shift tonight. Yeah. Oh, geez, I'd love to help you out, but I okay. can't seem to find the key to my inventory cabinet. I can't open my shop without it. Okay, where do it's I? Ought to be around here somewhere. You probably just dropped. I it. hope the kids didn't steal it. Or maybe one of those small hooligans over there stole it. Those aren't small hooligans. Oh They're boy. my friends. And I was actually coming to talk to you about letting us borrow a couple of items. Borrow. I stand by my statement, and we can talk about loaning you some merchandise later. Okay. Maybe you could talk to them for me. Okay. Work your little guardsman magic and see what you could do to get it back. So why would they steal the key and then say, go talk to him about stuff? Why would they steal the key and not mention it to me? Can you guys... Can you guys come over? Okay, there we go. Hey, guys! All right, guys. You little thieves. Time to confess. Which one of you took poor Garby's inventory? Key? Oh no, I feel like that I have to decide who it took it. me. I don't know. I ain't saying nothing. Oh, so that's how do I, the way it's gonna how be. How do I do is it? it? Listen, I need that key to upgrade tools and oh, buy no. more power crystals. So one of you is gonna tell me who's responsible. What should I do? What should Are I do? Are you a lawyer all of a sudden? Oh, how do nope, I? Nope, but I'm a guardsman. I hope you got oh, your boy. story straight, because I really don't want to go down to the guard shed and get my metal detector. Right? So tell me, which one of you took Garby's key? Okay, I gotta really decide. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know. Uh, uh, I feel like this is like the classic answer that he probably took it, but I feel like Simon kind of sneaky. I've never brought this up to the group before, but I think Isla is okay. a kleptomaniac. Oh? I always see her taking things out of Lamont's backpack when he's not looking. Okay. But also... T. But also, okay. Isla, what do you have to say about this? Oh, you and me, I saw Lamont poking his big, dumb, handsome nose that handsome. sits in the middle of his gorgeous face all oh. around that booth. Oh, okay. That was probably him. Oh, he's such a bad boy. Okay, Layla, oh. let's, 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 let's cool it down a little bit. It was Simon. Uh, I could make up my mind now or dig a little deeper. Dig a little deeper. Question further. I know it wasn't me. Okay. I'm in a bit of a two-strike situation with my parents, and I'll be sent to the National Ballet School in Marvog if I get in trouble again. Imagine ballet as a punishment. But I'm telling you, Maman got here first, and I saw him rooting around Garby's shop. Okay. What are you I saying? I said it before. I'll say it again. It was Isla. Wait! You said it was Simon! Okay, maybe Isla isn't a klepto, but she did go through his bag just before you got here. Maybe okay. she's got a good reason to be going through his stuff. I got here third, so I didn't see anything. Wait. So, Lamont said it was Simon, then he said it was Isla. What if Lamont had it and then Isla took it from him? Okay. So. So, did you figure out who took my key? I, I hate think. to be a narc, but I think it was. I think it was Lamont, but I think Isla has it now. It was probably Lamont. He's the tough looking kid. I feel with like it was Lamont, tooth. but I feel Thanks, like. Thanks, Lil. I'll be right back. Oh, you're gonna hey, beat you. him up? Mullet boy, stay right where you are. Yo, 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 yo. Garby isn't smart or strong or fast. By the time he reached Lil Hooligan's friends, they had run off. But Lil had been correct and startled. Lamont dropped the key as he fled. Okay, we won. <sighs> Got the key back. And those Hooligans nice. ran off. It's a win-win. 
Now my shop is ready to- Those are trash friends. Why would they even do this when they know it's part of my out, job? I'd like to offer you some gold to upgrade one of your tools. Okay. Or load up on crystals. Whatever your little heart desires. Cool. So you're offering me gold just to give you the gold back? Okay. What do I do? What should I do? What should I do? Ooh, what should I upgrade? Ooh, what should I upgrade? What should I upgrade? Um, I don't even know. Dang. I don't really feel like I have to use the decoder ring that much. Um, should I just get more power crystals? I already get three per day. Hmm. Uh, let's just do the truth spray again, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I think we're good. I feel like our friends are gone now, right? We can't even play with them no more, right? Yeah, they're gone, gone. That sucks. Do you want Lil's dumpster dive? Sure. I found a power crystal in a pile of chicken bones. Yuck. That's kind of nasty. Hey, we got a power crystal though. Cool. I don't know why people throwing that out, but... Can I dump in this kind of dumpster dive here? Yeah, we can't do it there. But I didn't know you could even do that. You can really explore the environment in this. The boring ditch with chairs. It has washrooms. They literally changed the name. The dungeon, Malcolm's office. Why would I need to go there? Okay, let's go to the dig site first. We got to make sure what's her name is. Uh, it's closed, but there's a note. I've convened a meeting at the Mage's Guild. The dig site is closed for the day. Oh, okay. So we can't well, that's even... That's just great. What am I supposed to do now? Okay. I guess I could go back in time to when she was here. Oh. Oh, do we want to? Sure. Is that bad? What? Why would I shut it down? Let's see what happens. What's wrong? Is this a bad thing? Is this a bad thing? What happened? Your reckless use of the chronometer 3000 triggered a catastrophic rift in space time and continually died? Why did that. Oh! Well, that's just great. What am I. I forgot she said it. It's it only used. It only. Um... I, but she, Dr. B did say I could only use it yeah. at the guard shed. Maybe that's why it's on the fritz? Oh. I better just get to my ship before this thing explodes. That's why. I I forgot that she said it only will work in there. I completely forgot. Dang it, we died again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, all the goblins are here. Hey guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. Um I knocked but there's no response. I guess there's really nothing else we could do. Can I, can I let them out? Imagine if I could let them out. Um, okay. Well, I can't even talk to them. We're leaving. Okay. I guess we'll just start our shift. Oh, do we want to gamble? I don't want to gamble. I'm not, I'm not confident. Um, uh, actually, wait, no, don't. Let's just go there and see what happens. Okay. Oh, look at his hat. It's still not as prestigious as his previous hat. I wonder what his previous hat looked like. This hat. Yeah, it's not it as fantastic. It's not as fantastic as my previous hat. Tough. I'm scared. I'm scared. What if I what if I lose money? Wait, I don't even think I have enough money. Step right up, one and all, and win. Hello again. Uh um, again. But I placed a bet with you. Doesn't ring a bell. Okay, do you have a do you the have the memory of a goldfish? Game against the brawlers? I won some money. Right? Okay, if you say so. Person I've never seen before. Anyways, you want to make a bet on the game? Yes. Here are the teams at play, kiddo. Okay. Which one do you want to hear about? Let's hear about the sprawl brawlers. Ah, the home team. Okay. People either love them or they hate them. Me? Ugh. I'm indifferent. But with the princess missing, the kingdom could really use a win right now. Oh, that's true. Yeah, if only those bums would get up off their behinds and show a little hustle every now and again. Uh, Great team, though. Are you sure you want to bet on them? I don't know if I want to bet on them. No. Here are the teams. Let me hear about them real quick. 
This team went under a major rebranding okay. and hired a whole new set of eager rookies. They're fast, um, but lack the muscle mass that some of the more seasoned teams have. Oh boy. Let's hope the starch in those new uniforms doesn't slow them down too much. No, I think I'll do the home team. The team. Let's do the home. Huh? Let's do the home one. Let's bet on them. One. Yes. We're like betting kids. one. Let's go and see. Let's, some... Let's see. Did we? Are we winning some gold? What an embarrassing series of unfortunate oh, no. accidents for the Sprawl Brawlers. First, Jorvala Pepsi oh, no. failed to barrel roll out of the way of the Marauders Lightning oh, Fast no. Defensive Then the dynamic duo... Dang Ian it! Hawk. He's muttering something to... Wait. The Marauders Weather Wizard can't touch the a ball like that. And it's through the posts. The Sprawl Brawlers win. Oh! We won. How much did we win? Lucky guess, kid. Come okay. back next time for all your illegal gambling needs. Just ask for Freda. Oh, we literally only won back one gold. Like, that did nothing for us. Well, um, I guess we're just going to start our shift. Let's start our shift. Yes, sir. Hey, nice shift. Let's go. Ooh. What's this? A mysterious present? Oh. Perhaps a secret admirer? What? Uh, to whom it may concern. Your choice of champion for the princess rescue mission was found accept was found acceptable. Unfortunately, we haven't heard much from the mage yet. Just a lot of squeaks and chirps from his tower. Regardless, please find a one-time bonus for your proficiency and character evaluation. Ta for now. My regrets. My regrets on your nighttime work inconvenience. You received a free truth spray slot upgrade. Sweet. Oh wow. There's no writ for the night shift. However, there is a book labeled Monster Manual sitting in front of Lil. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is scary. The Sprawl Monster Manual First Edition. Doppelganger shapeshifters. Frequency very rare. They shape change and sneak attack. They Okay, physical damage is their weakness. Alignment, chaotic evil. Size, small to medium humanoid. Does your loved one seem more addled than usual? Maybe they're replaced by a doppelganger? Whoa, that's scary. What's the next one? Forest entities. Their weakness is fire, woodcutters, axes. What? Their special attack is stomp or thwomp? What? This is scary. Goblins, very common. Um, What's next? Herring, frequency about 50-50. They cause confusion, create conflict where none should exist. Weaknesses, careful consideration. Okay. Use your judgment. Don't believe everything you hear or see. The temptation to believe a red herring is strong, but be vigilant and you'll come out on top. What is this? Werewolves? Okay. In most cases, the individual remains blissfully unaware of the transformation, but in some cases they know and desperately seek asylum to save their loved ones from their dark passenger. Mole people. Um, do not, please do not persecute the mole people. Okay. Necromancer. The mages guild would gladly welcome a fallen wizard who has seen the error of their ways back into the fold. However, not one yet has chosen to give up the dark arts once they're tasted that sweet, sweet necromancy. Oh, it's the forbidden arts. Oh my goodness. And vampires. Okay, there's definitely going to be some vampires. This is scary. We're going to see some monsters tonight, aren't we? I'm nervous. Okay. We have like seven now. Let's put... Let's use... Let's put one in here. Because I feel like we're going to need this. I feel like we're going to need that whip. We're going to... Let's use this. Use that. We need... We need that for sure. The decoder. Yeah. And then whatever we don't use, you know, it'll be fine. Okay. All right, yeah, whatever we don't use, it should be fine. And let's just put that in there just in case we need it. This is gonna be tough. Oh, well, vampire already. Good evening, child. I have not seen you at the post before. Yeah, yeah, I'm working the night yeah, shift, bro. you know how it goes. Drew the short straw this time, burning it at both yeah, ends, Yeah, yeah. You know? Just gotta keep on trucking through. Yes, sir. I hear you. Working uh -huh. a graveyard shift myself. 
you always yeah. work the graveyard shift because you're a vampire anyways. You said it. Okay. So what are you what are you here for? He doesn't even appear on the screen. That's a that's a big detail. I love that detail. So vampires usually evil, but best not to judge a book by its cover. Hmm. What do you want? What did you say your name was, sir? Did you say your name? Heinrich. Heinrich. And last name? Von Pyre. Heinrich Von Pyre. Von Pyre? Okay. Von Pyre. Okay, that's it. Title? Uh, Count. Count Heinrich Vampire. Your name is Count Heinrich Von Pyre? Okay. Yes. Okay. Doubt. That's a suspicious name. Very suspicious. suspicious? Uh, whatever do you mean? I happen to come from a hmm. long line of vampires. Can I let in vampires? I have no doubt in my mind. Can I let in vampires? Can I let them in? Is there really? I don't know what to do. Can I ask them? Can I ask him more questions? What are you trying to? So, what are you here for? Are you? Uh... Running late? Yes, I am. What so are you doing? If you mind inviting me in? There is an urgent matter I must oh, attend. Oh, I forgot you have to invite Did them you in. Say invite you in? Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes, it was an arrangement I had with the guard who normally uh -oh. wants this location. An arrangement that Wait. if broken would be a real pain in the neck. So pain in the case. neck? Uh, doubt. Okay, but why do I need to invite you? Right? It's just a nice thing that people do for people. Wouldn't you like to be invited into places? You know what? I guess I would. You know what? See, I don't trust you. I just don't trust you. Nah, I'm not gonna let you in. I don't trust you. You can't- it doesn't even take a picture of him. There is no way I'm gonna let okay. you in. You're clearly a vampire. Yeah. You're here to suck the blood of the innocent and create evil minions. Yeah. Hey, there is no need for that. Excuse okay. me? What? Yes, I am a vampire, but oh. I am not defined by it. I am also a prominent member of this society, and I am running late for my job at my clinic. I am. A chiropractor. Are you? I've never heard of a late night chiropractic clinic before. True. It is for other vampires. There are more of us than uh -oh. you think. Uh oh. And I do not appreciate you discriminating oh, no! against us with your hurtful and dated vampire stereotype. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I never knew. This is my first night shift. I'm sorry. I mean, sure, when the odd normie uh, comes in, we I'm crack sorry. their back and then maybe bite their neck a couple of times, but what? it's all in good fun. What? Now, would you kindly reconsider your choice and invite me in already? Um. So basically what you're saying is that you you still actually do suck blood. No. You know, I still don't get a good feeling about this. It's going to be a hard pass. Yeah, go to another gate, in. bro. Oh, the nerve of some people. You'll regret this. Nah. Whatever, Von Paul. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you in. You literally just admitted to sucking the necks of your clients. You denied him and saved countless um, innocents from being turned into his vampire minions. Yes, he was a prominent member of the healthcare community, but he was still occasionally biting normies. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stand by that. I'm gonna stand on that, because, like, I can't do that in good... I can't be of good conscience and let you in, bro. Listen, little girl, what? there isn't much time. You must send me to jail immediately. I well, pray you don't make me explain any further. We have. Wait. I think I've seen him before. I feel like I've seen you before. Yeah. Did you go to a funeral for a cat recently? Right? Sprinkles. That what? wild beast of a feline. I am certain that what? cat cursed me. Oh, it's a werewolf. And turned me into the monster I am today. Oh, I think he's a werewolf. All right, I'll send you to jail. I'll send you to jail. I'll send you to jail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, I think that that should save Thank him. Thank you. Bless you, child. The world is a safer place now. Yeah, I think that was good. That was good, right? You get the help you need. I think that was a good thing, right? That was a good thing, I think. Yeah! Yeah, we did it! Okay, cool. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> what? No, no, little one. Not a god. Just an incredibly handsome mortal. What People is... make that mistake all the time. It is I, Prince Phineas, heir to the throne of Petra. Aha. Uh -huh. Incredibly handsome. Incredibly handsome? 
Really? I don't know about that, bro. Your wig's falling off. Your wig's slipping. Ten, baby. <laughs> don't don't laugh like that. Please don't. Please don't. <sighs> Do you have anything to declare? Oh Please my goodness. say no and just go about your business. As a matter oh of fact, God. I do. What do you have? Yeah, I was afraid of that. What did you declare? I declare that I am. What? Go on. Go on. What? You kind of trailed off what? there. What? What? You said. I declare that I am. What is going on then, here? Uh, then what? Okay, and I feel like I'm gonna regret asking, but. What have you been doing tonight? Let's not ask. We don't want no details. What do you want me to say? Milkmaids? Uh, or what I've been doing with the milkmaids? Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Well, we've come this far. Wait, no! What have you been doing with the milkmaids? Wait, no! Don't say I anything! I got thrown out for trying to stretch a single into a double. Huh? Sad. I just feel sorry for you, man. Dang. Don't pity me, little one. I am a crowd the sad music. of the realm. That's tough. A sad one. Bro, you are desperate, Aren't bro. Aren't you here trying to win exactly. the hand of Princess Desdemona? Right, and you're over here with a bunch of other women. Sure I am, but when the Mage's Guild throws a party in your honor, boy, do they know how to show you a good time. Wow. And you can't stop a fox from stealing eggs. Am I right? Okay, bro. What? what? What does that even mean? What? It means everyone always thought the Sprawl was crazy for being aligned okay. with such an uptight group of old boars. Uh-huh. They really know how to show a guy a good time. All right, all no, right, I dude. I meant to think about the foxes stealing eggs. What? Can't stop them, and I'm the fox. Bar okay, bar please, stop, bar please, stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. Good night, Prince Phineas. Can I just let him me. in? <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's okay. why I said it. Now get out of here, you drunk fool. Right? Oh, all right. Yeah, just 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 let him in. Okay. Good evening, my dear. Wait a minute. She was smuggling something before, right? This is Abernathy. Mm -hmm. You're out awful late. Why are you out? With all these comings and goings about the sprawl. What? Oh, my stars! Would you look at the time? How the day does get away from you. I don't I trust her. Turning in. I don't trust her. I don't trust her. Let's use this. I feel like she got something. Oh. Okay. Everything's fine. You know, normally I expect to see more bones and, you know, what? human innards. There's nothing inside of her? Oh my stars, would you have time? How the day does get away from you. She's a shapeshifter! Turning in. She's a yeah, shapeshifter. That seems pretty off to me. She's a shapeshifter. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go to the beginning. Oh. When dealing with a suspected shapeshifter, show them an item they should recognize. Ooh! Something is seriously weird here. Right! Didn't I read somewhere about showing people something familiar? Yeah! Does this do anything for you? Oh, oh my yes. goodness! It is very nice. Thank you! Okay. Okay. That was one of your award-winning bonds, Mrs. Abernathy. What? You don't recognize it? What? Award-winning oh. bonds! Oh. Oh. oh! Don't you recognize it? Oh, she's scared. 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 You lousy shapeshifter monster. Ew. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh, well done. We did that, bro. This thing looks nasty. This thing looks like it came straight from the alien. Yo. I'm so glad we recognized that this is weird. I was like, huh? Well, well, okay. well. If it isn't the little girl, okay, okay, okay. the guard shed. I was hoping we'd meet again. I'd love to stay and chat, but I have a rather important meeting Wait, who are to you? attend. Wait, who are you again? I don't remember you. And what exactly is this meeting you're attending? Oh, I don't remember you. If you must know, I was summoned by Preator Cargan personally. Okay. It is a highly confidential matter that doesn't concern you. Okay. Doubt. As a guard of the kingdom, you don't tell me what does and does not concern me. Right? I Period. tell you what does 
and does not concern me. Period. A backbone. Interesting. Foolish, but interesting. Yeah, yeah. Now spill. What, you're not saying anything. All right. Time to tell the truth. It's time to tell the truth. Wait, does it not work on him? Does it work on him? When I was a little boy and my powers were beginning to form, I had a budgie named Petey. Petey was my best, nay, only friend. Oh boy. When he flew full speed into the window and fell to the floor, my innate ability to rouse the dead awakened. Oh. Have I spent most of my adult life oh. trying to hide these forbidden gifts? What? Yes. Do they come in handy when certain foreign visitors practice their ballet what? and decapitate a few chambermaids? What? Also, yes. So, what do I do with a necromancer? What do I what do I do with him? A line fulfillment, lawful evil. Hmm. They should although not illegal, these should be discouraged from entering the sprawl. Okay. So I should I should reject him. Well, let me just ask him one more question. Why does Praetor Cargan want to meet with you? Okay. Mm, I'm feeling rather generous today, so I will tell okay. you. Okay. The Marvog High Council, led by Praetor Cargan herself, are concerned. Okay. As ceremonial killings have become more and more common, their okay. numbers continue to dwindle. So he has to. With that in mind, the Empress reached out to me regarding the practice oh. of necromancy to preserve the life force of some of these. Brave fallen souls. Ah. Uh, okay. Necromancy. Isn't okay. That bringing dead people back to life. Ugh. Oh, child. It is so much more than that. What? With knowledge of life and death. What? The future and the past both fold atop one another. Okay. Connecting us to all of time and giving us the ability to foretell not only what has been but what is to come. So you can see the future. So, dang it. So what should I do? They said they should be discouraged from entering. I feel like, should I? I guess I'll discourage you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like that's the right choice. I think. You have no right to deny me. No okay. right to even stand in my view, you pathetic. Pathetic what? Smaggle. Wow. This guy called us a smaggle. What's that? I, I don't even know. Smaggle. Yes, that uh -huh. is the word we mages use to describe worthless, magicless beings such as Wow, you. You whoa, I'm so offended. A, a, smaggle? a smaggle? Oh, that hurt. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Dude, that's pretty weak. Yeah. No, it is not weak. It cuts to the core. Sure. No, that's lame. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. The Praetor will know of your insolence, little one. I'm sorry. Hopefully she doesn't get mad about that. You didn't let the creepy guy into the sprawl. That's gotta be at least a worth at least a pat on the back. Okay. How many more people can we let in? Whoa. 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 <gasps> what? Oh my god. Are you some kind of scary tree monster? Oh my goodness, it gets creepy at night. <sighs> Now let me in or I'll thwomp and stomp you. Uh-oh. 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 What do we do about the trees? What do we do about the trees again? Hello? Um. Neutral. Um. They're extremely dangerous, but motivated by threats to their territory. The bark can be deciphered. Ooh. What if I can decipher him? Let me use it. I, can I know you've something carved on your bark, but I can't quite Ooh, make out. Oh, I it love says. it! I love it! Somebody carved it on me when I was a sapling. It was a mistake. Are you sure about that? Mind if I try to read it? Let's see. Okay. Yeah, yeah my bad. Let me just let me just scan you real quick, bro. I want to see what it says. Ding! It reads: To lodge all power in okay. one party and keep it there is to ensure bad what? government and the sure and gradual deterioration of public morals. Whoa! Does that mean anything to you? Whoa! That was the words of who came towards to write. I remember him, Mark what? Goblin Twain. That's the one in jail he was right now. Inspiring to scary tree monster. I think. 
talked about how to make changing world. Oh, that's the one. That's the and was the it goblin just stomping and thwomping. Think. No, it wasn't. That was Scary Tree Monster's idea. He spoke what? of change through something called corrupt government system. Wait. Okay, I have a theory. What Maybe if there's a better way? One of the higher ups. Your woods. Maybe a more official way. What if there's a higher up that's a goblin secretly? Are you saying Scary Tree Monster should run for government office to implement real systemic change? Yeah. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, I guess I could let you in. I think I could let him in. So he could run for government, I think. I believe in you, Scary Tree Monster. Uh, yeah. I think you'll make a fine governor or Congress tree or whatever yeah. you end up running for. Go ahead, bro, Scary Tree Monster. Now all I need is a snappy campaign slogan. Um, how a about? Vote for me is a vote for a tree. Yeah, no, that's a good one. A little on the nose. Oh, okay. You don't even have a nose. Oh, nice. You diverted the life path of a violent monster towards a life of politics and public service. Vote Scary Tree Monster. Let's go. Who's that? Hello. I wish safe passage through this gate. Yo. Can do. I'm just gonna need you to lift that hood. Gotta see if what if this is the princess? Or elf or gelatinous blob. We've had all types tonight. I feel like this is the princess. I'm afraid I can't do that. I assure you, I am human. Now, please allow me safe passage. I feel like this is the princess. I feel like this is the princess. I feel like this is the princess. Is that not working? I am returning to the kingdom after being away what? by my own volition. I have to hurry. Well, I knew it. There is a deadline that must be met. I have to inform what? them of my choice. Ugh, be gone, magic truth spray. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wow, you've got quite the resistance to wow. that. Wow. Mind telling me how I could do that? Yeah, this uh, definitely. It takes a strong-willed mind and a small knowledge of sorcery. Oh yeah. How oh about yeah. A wandering brain and a great knowledge of rock. Oh yeah, this is definitely the princess. This is definitely the princess. Dang it. Can I use the truth spray twice? What should I do? Let me ask you more You've questions. Got a real mysterious don't ask me any questions. Yeah, what's going, going on? on? What's up with that? What if I deny her? What if I deny her? I simply have nothing to state or claim. I just wish to enter. Mmm. Doubt. You know, I'd say you have a trusting face, but I right? haven't seen it yet. Right? And you won't. Come on, give me something. Dang it. What should I do? Let me ask her another question. So, are you here for business or pleasure? I'm okay. here on business, which is mine and none of yours. Okay, no, fine. Please let me pass. Dang. Tease. Well, I got business is none of yours too, you know. Don't go thinking you'll get any info out of me. Right? It's my job to ask the questions, not go blabbing on and on about what I'm all about. Right? And you are doing your job admirably. Now will you please let me pass? Oh my goodness. I just want her to admit she's a princess. What should I do? Okay. What if I deny her? I'm gonna see what happens if I deny her. I can always rewind. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if she begs. There's just too much that's unknown Ooh. about you. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to deny your entry. Oh! But you don't understand. I have to Okay. Enter. There's a very important deadline that could affect the fate of the entire kingdom. Oh, am I messing everything up? Yeah, that's what they all say. Am I messing everything Everyone up? Everyone says they have deadlines that could affect the fate of the entire kingdom. Yeah. Like a broken record. Yep, it's true. This is an outrage. I'm going to try another gate. Okay. Have a nice walk. That's tough. Sorry, but I, you didn't show me your face. Oh. Oh, two stars. You know what? Let me rewind that. Let me rewind that. <laughs> Hello. Can okay. Let's use the truth spray on her just to make sure that we cover everything.
Okay. I am. Okay, just what? so that we have the information. Uh, how about? And then let's now let's use letter in. Just in case it counts, like you need to have the information or something. All right. Okay, mystery woman, you may enter. Okay. I hope I don't regret this. I hope so too. Thank you. The choice you made here today will not go unrewarded. Oh, we get a reward? Bet. Tacos. Tacos? What? Make my reward tacos. I don't want tacos. I want gold. Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> I want gold. Hooray. Okay, girl. Why did you say tacos of all things? What? It was still two stars? How can we get four? Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. We're doing it again. Metal detector? Okay. Nothing happened. Oh! Whoa, what's with the neck oh. candy? A little out of place for someone dressed so discreetly. Oh! My necklace is none of your concern. See? It's the princess! So you stole it. Oh! I did not steal it. Oh? Then it was a gift? Huh? Yes. From my mother. Okay. I wish I got a gift like that from my mom. Only thing I got from her was this hair. Okay. What if I confiscate confiscate it? Oh. I'm gonna have to hold on to this. Right. Just until we can get your story straight. Yep. No, you mustn't. Okay. Maybe you tell me a bit more about right? you. Right. And then maybe I can give you back your shiny rock on a string. Right? No, I can't. Fine. Keep it. I will return for it another day. All right, fine. Aw, you're no fun. All right, fine. But that emerald looked like the real thing. Maybe I should mm. call one of the higher ups about it. Should I? Should I? I don't think I should. Ooh. What happened? Should I call? No. Oh my goodness. Wait, this is actually so tough. There's too many choices. No, because they're all against her. Right? Nah, sh nah, nah. She said she'll come back for it another day. Is there anything else I should do? Uh, maybe I should call actually. Let's call Ash. I think. I'm forwarding you to Mrs. Ash now. Please hold. Okay. Oh. I've heard something about a necklace. Yes. Hello to you, too. Yes, the cloaked woman is rocking some serious neckwear. Okay, Silver hopefully I'm not a snitch. Rock? Oh, I hope that so. That is the same necklace that the princess okay. wears. Maybe the princess gave it to her as okay. proof so that she could enter safely and relay a message to me. Right, or that's actually Let the princess. immediately and tell Travis he's fired. Who's Travis? Why? Oh, I tell him that every night. It's our little game. Ta! Who's Travis? I'm still on the call, you know. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, so we're gonna let her through. There we go. Now. Now we're probably gonna get four stars. Right? I don't know why, but something tells me I should okay. let you enter. Maybe it's the necklace. Maybe okay. it's the nothing else you've told me about yourself. Okay. But I gotta follow my gut on this one. Okay. Thank you. The choice you made here today will not go unrewarded. Cool. And tacos. tacos. What? Yeah, somehow. I don't know why she said uh, tacos, hooray! but okay. Wait, maybe I shouldn't have kept the necklace. Oh, no, I got it. Okay. We did that. I'm so happy. I know we're going to sleep in. Okay. Yeah, decent. Decent. All right. The only one we did bad on was that was um the Count Heinrich. Everybody else, oh, and also him, we did like three. Okay. I feel like it's difficult to get a full four stars. Now we're going back home. It is daytime. Wow, we're tired. So, oh, she's here. She's here. It's you. What are you doing here? Okay. Are you here to give me tacos? Yeah! No. I've come to reveal my true identity to you. 
Oh! So, no tacos? Oh. Allow me to introduce myself. I knew it! I'm Desdemona. I knew it! Oh, wow. Princess Desdemona? Girl, girl, put the cloak back on. People can walk in at any time. Nah, I knew it all along. Yeah. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Why split hairs? I'll be taking my necklace back now. Okay, we'll give it back. Absolutely. Okay. All right, you can take it back. I was gonna sell it, you know what I mean? But what about the kidnappers? You know, I, I kind of wanted to sell it to, you know, Garby, but okay. There were no kidnappers. Okay. I disguised myself and ran away. Oh. I'm sorry for all the commotion I've caused. Oh? I had to get away to say goodbye to someone important to me before my wedding. Wait, who was she saying goodbye to? I don't understand. She has a lover! I'm being forced to marry one of the suitors from these two rival kingdoms. Oh, she loves someone else. Yeah, yeah, that's old news. What I don't understand okay. is why you, a princess, are here talking to me about it. Okay. Shouldn't there be more official people that could play therapist? Girl, like, come Stryker? on now. Ash? Oh, God. Oh, not Malcolm. I know my father had faith in them. Uh-huh. When I'm gone, your advisors will help maintain the All balance. Right. Blah, blah, blah. They want me out of the way so they can control my father's kingdom. Right, right. We know that. They've never been good at listening to what I want or how I want to rule. But who is she life. in love with? Nobody listens to me. Sing it, Please sister. tell me it's not the, the janitor dude that works, the guy, the, the fake, the, 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 you know who I'm talking about. Please tell me it's not him. And now I'm being forced to choose between allying the Sprawl with the kingdom of Petrard or the Marvog Empire. Okay. You mean Phineas the Pompous Prince or Cargan the Praetor Terror? Yeah, like, and It doesn't even matter if I love them or not. At the end ugh. of the day, it's strictly politics. Lucky me. Oh, that sucks, actually. This is the first time in the game I've been okay being 12. Mm. I just want to make the right choice. Tell me, Lil, what do you think of Prince Phineas? Ugh. I have doubts. He might look like a prince out of a storybook, but he's not. I don't a like good either kid. of them. And what about Praetor Cargan? What do you think? Uh uh. I have doubts. Look, I'd be lying if I told you I wasn't already planning my Halloween costume based on her look. Dang. But it sounds like she's got a lot of blood on her hands. Yeah. I know their ways are different than ours, but. Come on. Yeah, I don't know about that. So if you were me, and uh -oh. you had the future well-being of the soul in your hands, who would you choose? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I don't want to choose either of them. I don't want to... Why isn't there a nun option? Why isn't there a nun option? Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Dang. See, Phineas is so annoying. Cargan is constantly killing people. I feel like she'll just, she'll kill her. I'm closing my eyes. I'm closing my eyes. Whatever I choose. Oh, it was doing it. It was clicking nowhere. Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Phineas. Thank you for your honesty. I know my advisors have jerked you around, but I oh also goodness. know you don't always do what they say, and I like that. Okay, cool. You remind me of, well, I I, 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 I really hope that that Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo was good. And you remind me of me, too. If I was rich and beautiful and influential. <laughs> oh, you are influential. You've changed the course of fate more than you know. Girl, I'm 12. Why y'all trusting me? Don't forget beautiful. I am also beautiful. Period. The sun's coming up. I must go. Oh no! I shall put my own heart aside and do what's best for the kingdom. Oh no! I feel like she, I I really wanted to be with whoever she originally loves because like clearly she loves someone else. Oh no! Although clearly a vampire, Count von Pyder was also a registered chiropractor with a private practice on the outskirts of the rapidly gentrifying little ogre town neighborhood. Denying Heinrich was going to make him late for his appointment, so he gave in to his baser instincts and transformed into a bat and flew over the gate. The Count arrived just in time to find an angry mob brandishing pitchforks and torches at the door of his office. The horde was led by none other than Myrna Herken, local school teacher and leader of the Better Business Bureau. Although lumbers were being loosened, there was a steadily growing number of complaints about bitten necks and cases of anemia resulting from the Count's medical practice. She was there to put a stop to it. Maybe it was the light of torches reflected in their eyes, but it just took one look for Myrna and the Count to fall madly in love? Or it was the fact that he is a va powerful vampire, one of those things. The Count swooped down and lifted Myrna out of the angry mob. 
He bit her at least three times and made her drink his own blood to facilitate her own vampire. What? He trans... Wait, he transformed the leader of the Better Business Bureau into a vampire. What? 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 Now he has a whole new bride? What in the world just happened? Bro just cheated the system. The afflicted man was safe from the transformative rays of the full moon, and even should he have transformed, the thick iron bars would have protected everyone. Nice. Although the good people of the sprawl were safe from the wrath of his curse, the mourner was not spared the aggression of his fellow inmates. Cornering him in the cell, they shanked him with a handmade shiv, leaving him there to bleed to death. Luckily, the shiv was whittled out of a silver spoon, miraculously curing him once and for all of the curse of the beast that had attacked him so long ago. After a fortnight of recovery in the prison's infirmary, the mourner was released back into society. Unfortunately, on his journey back to Scarborough, the mourner was attacked by a different werewolf and suddenly is cursed again. Seems as if it wasn't for bad luck, this guy would have no luck at all. That is terrible. So he was healed and then he became a werewolf again. Uh, he stumbled drunk. Uh, he fell, he lit a fire and a pot of stew before he passed out. And he woke the next morning having no memory of how he got home. But he did remember the rager of a party thrown in his honor by the Mages Guild and the promises he made to them should he, he be chosen to marry Princess Desdemona. Ugh. Shapeshifter. This Mrs. Abernathy was no Abernathy at all. In reality, it was a horrible shapeshifting monster. Running off into the night, the creature assumed a different identity and gained entry in the sprawl at another gate. Oh no. Once inside the sprawl, it, well, we lost track of it. Having the ability to take the form of anyone made it difficult to track, so its whereabouts remain unknown. Uh-oh. It was rep reported later that night that an unusually untalkative Guardsman Cecile was trying to break its way into the Sprawl's armory. Being denied entry, Guardsman Cecile apparently screamed in a high-pitched voice and ran off into the night. Be on the lookout for this creature could be anyone. Oh, it's definitely coming back. Tyronius Athenatos. He was unable to meet with Praetor Craig in that night. And um, his promises of sharing the secrets of necromancy with the Marvel Empire went unfulfilled. If he had been successful, the Mage's Guild and his agendas would have been conveyed to the Marvel Empire. And if that alliance was put in place and the Praetor was chosen for marriage by Princess Desdemona, who knows what nefarious plans would have unfolded? That's crazy. Dejected, he went back to his keep outside of the walls of the city and contrived another way to forge his alliance with the Marvonians. The Marvians. He wasn't sure how, but he knew his next plan would have to be 100% little gate guard proof. That would have been crazy. Oh, he's scaring me. With dreams of holding political office now planted in the scary tree monster's head, he stomped his way right to the city clerk's office at City Hall and waited for it to open. The next day, he obtained the necessary paperwork to run for political office. Unfortunately, he didn't know how to read or write. Uh, revealing his illiteracy made the city clerk's Receptionist laugh out loud, which angered him. So he proceeded to thwomp her into oblivion. Um, when the city clerk showed up to find no receptionist, they hired the scary tree monster on the spot to fill the role as the political aide. Scary tree monster was now a small cog in the political machine and would no doubt rise in the ranks to one day hold the title of counselor or, or dare we say mayor. Princess Desdemona. When Princess Desdemona returned to the castle, she refused to answer any questions regarding her whereabouts. She immediately issued a royal decree to cut funding to any active rescue missions and to put an end to an antiquated practice of choosing rescuers via flashy game shows. As she lay in bed that night, she reflected on the little guardsman device. She knew that her decision would irreversibly alter the fate of the sprawl and the fate of every soul who called it home. Wow. Wow, guys. That was something. Okay, no, no, no. We gotta end it here. We gotta end it here. That was two hours worth of amazing, interesting content, y'all. I am scared. I hope I didn't make the wrong choice when it comes to the marriage thing. But I don't know. Everything here, this, I feel like there's so many endings. I don't even know. I don't even... I, there's so many different ways to go about this and the ways to play it. You could be t well okay you have to at least get two stars or more so you have to to a point you do have to listen to the advisors but you also don't have to all the way i don't know i don't know i feel like i'm doing a decent amount a decent job but 
if you guys have any tips or tricks or you know don't spoil it but you know put it in the comments below but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe join the squad follow my snapchat follow my instagram i'll see you in the next video bye up in here this is anthem up in the room there's a beauty with a mask on and it's laid up y'all be smoother than a panther didn't even ask a question but you answered let me tell you we the baddest shotties in the room and the shotty is too bad for the average looking group look at what we got we not bow with no golden spoon all the boys watching from the